Hey everybody, it's time to practice perfect pronunciation. Let's get started. All right, all right. What's up everybody? Good morning, good evening, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. So glad to see you. Today, we are practicing tongue twisters for practicing perfect pronunciation. Sometimes it's important to practice the proper pronunciation so that we can, in our mouth, build muscle memory. Muscle memory. So when you practice using certain sounds and shapes in your mouth, it helps you with your pronunciation so that you can speak more clearly and accurately. So in addition to learning vocabulary and grammar, we also practice pronunciation. So let's get started. First one is, how can a clam cram in a clean cream can? So what I'll do is I'll read these first. You can have a look and then try it yourself one more time. So I'll do it once and then I'll pause and then you can try. Try one more time. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Okay, next. I'll just give you a few seconds to try on your own and then I'll move to the next slide. Sheena leads, Sheila needs. Okay, good. These are all very short, short phrases. Next one. Seth at Sainsbury sells thick socks. So this is difficult because of the S and the TH sound that's intertwined together. So keep practicing these. And you can always go back and review. Next one. Roberta ran rings around the Roman ruins. Okay. Stupid superstition. That's an easy one. Santa's short suit shrunk. Is that one tough? Is that difficult? Next one. Wayne went to Wales to watch walruses. Okay. Pirate's private property. Anne and Andy's anniversary is in April. Yeah. Let's keep going. You're doing good, I think. Keep trying. Rudder valve reversals. Good. Four furious friends fought for the phone. Lots of f, 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 f sounds in there. Four furious friends fought for the front. Ugh, not so good. Why do you cry, Willie? That's a pretty easy one. All right, next one. Tie twine to three tweet. Let me try again. Tie twine to three tree twigs. One more time. Tie twine to three tree twigs. I tried to do that one too fast. Too fast. All right, next one. Rolling red wagons. Not too bad. Green glass globes glow greenly. That's the GL sound, GR and GL. Green glass globes glow greenly. That's challenging. 
You can always go back and practice these. Next one, the queen in green screamed. Okay, good. Six slimy sails. Let me try again. Six slimy snails sailed silently. There we go. Next one. Roofs of mushrooms rarely mush too much. Roofs of mushrooms rarely mush too much. Mush too much. S-H and C-H. Good. Next. He threw three balls. That's an easy one. Singing Sammy sung songs on the sinking sand. Singing Sammy sung songs on sinking sand. Next. I wish to wash my Irish witch. <laughs> How embarrassing. I wish to wash my Irish wish wristwatch. <sighs> One more time. I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. Wristwatch. See, these are difficult even for me, a native speaker. So it's good for you to practice. And again, muscle memory, just to practice using the sounds in different order. Scissor, sizzle, thistle, sizzle. Scissors, sizzle, thistle, sizzle. Tom threw Tim three thumbtacks. There's that TH sound again. TH sound with a T sound and the THR. Tom threw three, Tom threw Tim three th thumbtacks. Ah, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, next one. He threw three free throws. Good. Fresh French fried fly fritters. Two tiny tigers take two taxis to town. That one's pretty easy. Double bubble gum bubbles double. That's a bu 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 bu. Double bubble gum bubbles double. B sound. B and D sound. Octopus ocular optics. Mm. Next one. This is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. The tricky part here is the sixth zebra, sixth zebra. This is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. A slimy snake slithered down the sandy Sahara. I wish you were a fish in my dish. Thin, grippy, thick, slippery. Ooh, thin, grippy, thick, slippery. Five frantic frogs fled from 50 fierce fishes. One more time. Five frantic frogs fled from 50 fierce fishes. One smart fellow, he felt smart. Silly sheep weep and sleep. Silly 
Silly Sheep Weep and Sleep. Okay. Knife and a fork, bottle and a cork. Easy. Knife and a fork, bottle and a cork. I'm a sock cutter and I cut socks. I'm a sock cutter and I cut socks. Easy. Big, big batches of bitter brown bread. Which wristwatch is a Swiss wristwatch? That wristwatch, that's hard to say, wristwatch. Elizabeth has 11 elves in her elm tree. A lump of red leather, a rump of, oh my goodness, hold on. A lump of red leather, a red leather lump. One more time. A lump of red leather, a red leather lump. <laughs> Next. I saw a kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. It's a K and a CH sound. I saw a kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. Next. Dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis. It's a nice night for a white rice fight. Nine nice night nurses nursing nicely. Nine nice night nurses nursing nicely. And that is all. Good job. Good job. If you liked this video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. And also, please subscribe to Greg Teaches English. That's my channel. I make three new English lessons per week. Some are based on like this grammar, uh, tongue twisters, I mean. Tongue twisters, vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, uh, expressions, idioms, quizzes, grammar quizzes, verb tenses, um, phrasal verbs, all kinds of cool stuff. And so I try to keep it interesting. I try to mix it up so that three times a week there's a, a different topic, but things that you can use to add to your English improvement. So that's all. If you have any questions, please write them down below and I'll be happy to answer you. So that's all. Until next time, I'm glad you're here. It's always awesome to see you and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. All right. Bye-bye. See you.